Welcome to Red in Motion. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory Cell and Molecular Biology. Here, we discuss human lung tissue implanted on the chick chorioallantoic membrane as a novel in vivo model of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis by researchers from Canada. Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, IPF, is a severe progressive lung disease. However, existing pharmacological treatments are not curative, underscoring the need for developing novel therapeutic strategies. Moreover, preclinical models for the disease do not completely replicate its pathology, thereby limiting the understanding of clinical outcomes following antifibrotic treatments. Recently, scientists explored the chorioallantoic membrane, CAM, from chick embryos as an animal model for IPF that can replicate human pathophysiology and aid the assessment of in vivo drug responses. They implanted IPF lung tissue-derived xenografts or fibroblast cells cultured from IPF lung tissue into the chick embryo CAM and examined the effects of the antifibrotic drug nintetinib. Their results suggest that the CAM assay supports the implantation and engraftment of the lung fibroblasts while maintaining their integrity, the microenvironment, and the IPF phenotype. Furthermore, treatment with nintetinib significantly reduced fibrosis and associated gene expression levels. Similar effects were also observed with GLPG1205 and phenofibric acid, which target the immune microenvironment. Notably, the CAM model allowed the assessment of treatment responses at a rate three times faster than an IPF mouse model. These findings indicate that the CAM IPF model developed in this study is robust and can serve as a rapid, versatile, and cost effective screening strategy for novel antifibrotic drug candidates for IPF. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Alexis Perot and colleagues. Thank you for watching Red in Motion.